as you see, it's all been logged in here, and uh, this used to be a little small road that used to go down here, now it's a log skidding run. Sounds like Roger's doing something here. Huh? What, what's up, Roger? What do you got? I think I, I might have a button here. I'm getting a piece of a signal. Oh, yeah? Huh. I'm trying to stay where they, they disturb the ground here through for the logging road. You know, Bill, it's like I said, you know, when you go through time, things change. There, there it is, Bill. It is a button. That is. First find of the day. Looks like a pewter one. Yeah, German pewter one or the yeah. German silver, some people call it. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Pewter that's nice, man. Yeah, it's a good uh, beginning sure, for the day. here a few minutes. Just a few minutes. So let's hope this is the harbinger of some good tidings for us. Yeah, that's right, you know. <laughs> we saw this for a little depressed. I but, was a bit but depressed. But obviously with the ground disturbed, it could help us too. But so. I saw the disturbed ground and I thought, well, you know, we at least, you know, get something out of it. We'll check the disturbed areas, which I think is what we should concentrate on yeah. today, Bill. Yep. So we'll keep going. Let's get cracking. That's right, we'll get cracking. Okay, I got called over. Clown Relic Hunter has a signal. What do you, what's it sound like? It's all pretty good. It's all nickel. Oh, it's out of the pocket. It's out of the hole. That's right. Eight ball corner pocket. Yeah. It's out of the pocket, right? Well, it's out of the pocket. It's just not in your hand. Great. Maybe you had to grab the dirt that's furthest away from you. And there. Is that it? There it is, right there. Where? It's a button. Yep. Yeah, it's another pewter button. Another pewter button. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very similar to one I found. Yeah, it is. Excellent. Well, congratulations. That's the third find of the day. I'm, I'm really stoked on this. I think, I think today we're doing really good. Okay, we're going to keep going then. Good. Is it running? No, it's running. I mean, we're back on track. It we hit iron died. here, Bill. I hear it's up there. It's an axe head. I mean, it's an axe head, Bill. Holy shit. That's a, that's, that's a, a colonial axe head right there. Is it? You know, if you found that up in Saratoga, New York, that would have been um, a, be a belt pull axe. A camp belt pull axe. You believe that this is colonial? Oh, that's colonial. And, and look at it's it. The first one they we really found. used it. Yeah, they did. And like flip wedge. it over. And it looks like they might have tried to make stuff there, too. See how it's indented right yes. there? Yes. You know, that's yeah. probably what happened. They probably used it as an anvil. They're making other things, you know, as a solid... This is the first one. It's funny that uh, that we found this because I had mentioned to you that we, all the trips here, we've never found an axe head. Well, Steve found a small one. Remember, it was Did over he? there further. I don't remember that, but... But he found a small one. But, uh, yeah, that's the first big colonial camp axe. Wow. Well, that's terrific, Bill. That is terrific. That's a nice piece. Wow. Look at it. You could tell it's not used a lot. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yes. maybe it was used. That's why it's more curved. But, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, it's definitely a handmade piece. But yeah, yeah, I guess, you know, it's so old that it actually is rotted a bit there. But, yeah. Wow, that's terrific. Still a great piece. Yeah. Okay, well, it shows we're on the right track. Our strategy's paying off. We yeah, it is. disturbed area. That's what you have to do out here is when you run into a problem, you try to make the best of it and try to yeah. turn it to your advantage. Yeah, because you figured last time. The ground wasn't disturbed, and, no, and it's fact, probably all broken. And the way this is built, it looks like this is the amount of dirt that they took off the hill a bit. Mm -hmm. This could have been like over a foot deep. Who knows how deep? How it was. deep? Yeah. But it, they they dug it up. I mean, it was what maybe eight inches. I yeah. detected it. So yep. That's good. So I'm really encouraged, Bill. This is so far to me. This is my best find for today. Awesome. Out of the two. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, well keep, we better get cracking. We'll get cracking. All right. Bye. Okay, here we are. I got called over from a relic hunter who's just recovered a button. That's a boy, Bill. That's a, like a fin. Yeah, 
to. Oh, I would say my that's, God, look at the gilt on that. That says French and Indian or, oh my God. or 1760s. Yeah, look at down that gilt. Yeah, see, it was in the clay dirt in there. See that? So that's what helped yeah. to preserve it more. I know. Plus, it was in the viaduct. It is, you know, that's the thing. This is the colonial village, uh, Gloss Colonial Village's viaduct system, which uh, uh, it looks, as the Colonial Relic Hunter point out, that they had run the log skitters down and unearthed uh, some, uh, disturbed the earth. And is that a. Oh no, a minute I thought I saw a silver coin hanging out of there, but no, it did not. <laughs> I'll be fighting you for it. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. <laughs> but no, no, but that, boy, I, that's the most guilt I've seen on the back of a button in a long time. Yeah, in a long time, yeah. Wow. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thanks a lot. We're going to keep going. I think you're onto something here with the viaduct. Yeah. Here, and you can see the run of the skid logger in here. We're just mail detecting along here. Found some buttons and, and uh, see Roger digging over there. What's happening over there, Roger? I got a signal I'm chasing. It sounds, it sounds like a piece of something. It sounded like a good signal originally. Then I put it, it's the a tick. Then I put it all metal and it had a lower tone, so I'm the current, so I'm going to chase it down. Well, I'll come over with you. That sounds good. It's a button. It's another one of the uh, pewters. Yeah, that's an odd one there. Uh, no, not that's quite a, a pew. That's not a pewter one. A little tin in there, but you still think? Still Revolution New War, and uh, it probably it's part pewter, but not, a not tin. A German I mean, a little, silver, yeah, it looks a little like rust mm -hmm. colored in there. I think there's some tin. You think? Could be. Yep. Okay. Well, it's usually what happens there. That's the fifth find for the day, Bill. Well, let's see the the, the whole button again. Well, here, here, here. Here we go. Want to turn around for me? Oh yes. Ooh la la. There you go. <coughs> yeah, I see that. It's like a rust spot on it. Yeah, it yeah. could be cause of the iron here too. It's so. possible. It's possible. Anyways, congratulations. Thank man. you. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I'm really encouraged. The, this. That's right. I think the viaduct area was a great idea. Yeah, because we've always had luck in. Uh, in we always found a lot here. of stuff in here, but yeah. now it's low, a little tore up a little. It's yeah. tore up a little, but it's helping us here. Plus, on top of that, it rained the last in the last couple of days. It added a lot of moisture content, so that's really helping yeah. us here. Yeah, yeah, did. I see that. I yep. so, so. All right, man. We're gonna keep going. It looks like the road less traveled, my friend. Yes, it does. Okay. okay. I, uh, I got down the lower end on the road where the Colonial Relic Hunter had a, quite a bit of success in the past and I see that the, this road has been chewed up from their logging activity. And you got a signal then? Yeah, I've got a position signal. Okay. I've got a dirt and dumped it up here. Oh, 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 I think you got it. It is. Is it a big bun or is that a coin? Is, is it a coin? I don't know. Oh my God, that's a big. That guy's oh my God, that's one of them German pews. I know, but I've never. Seen, oh, look at the condition oh, of that thing. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where the hell that? Where'd it go? <laughs> so excited there it is. So like, so yeah. excited the, the look at the condition there. of this thing. Holy, wow. That's a great oh, condition. Look at that's in fabulous condition, Bill. Wow. Look, it even has the shank on there. You figure there's no fur lines in here. It's in the woods. You know, you're right, but I'll tell you something, Bill. That button. That that's looks. A big Bill, button. that looks like one like you'd have like a British double breasted yes. coat button. Yeah. Wow. Wow, Bill. I think. I don't know. That. That that has potential. That could be the find of the day. I mean, that's a fabulous. Well, I button. like that axe. That's good. I mean, it's kind of a toss up then. Yeah, kind of a toss it's up. It's a heavy one too. I know. It's a little more lead than it. Maybe that's probably what it is. Maybe. Man, that's a nice button. Wow. And you know, we've been through this area before. We've been through this area. Yeah, well, it's a little buggered up a little. So. Yeah, but man, that's a fabulous button. Okay. That's well, I wow. think I think for for right now, this will be the area we'll focus on. Yeah. Okay, we'll get cracking.